The managing director of the fund says economies have weathered the post-pandemic storm. Kristalina Gergeva told me they still need to be prepared for unexpected shocks. Well, we uh, are very confident that the uh, world economy is now poised for this soft landing we have been dreaming uh, for. And uh, Are we there? It, oh, we are coming there, yes. We are coming there. I expect to see by mid-year interest rates uh, going in the direction inflation has been going in uh, for the last uh, uh, year. Now, this being said, remember what we learned over the period of time since the pandemic. Expect the unexpected. So we have to be always tuned to carefully monitor what is uh, happening around the world and have the agility to respond, uh, not ever be caught unprepared. Now, obviously, we have the Middle East war underway at the moment. I mean, it is whatever the personal, whatever the suffering that's taking place, it seems as if the ability to ring fence the macroeconomic effects, and I hate saying this because the personal suffering is huge, but the macroeconomic effects have been fairly limited at the moment. Well, uh, for the world as a whole, but not for the part of the world directly affected. We have uh, looked into the impact on Gaza and West Bank, on the economies of uh, uh, Palestine, and it is horrendous. Uh, Gaza, the economy shrunk by 80%. West Bank, it shrunk by 22%. And for the uh, Middle East, North Africa region, we just downgraded our projections from October by half a percentage point. Growth is affected in this part of the world. Uh, what has not happened is to have massive spillovers for the rest of the world. Yes, what is happening in the Suez Canal uh, is creating a bit of anxiety because it affects supplies and we got really allergic to supply chain disruptions. Do you fear... But not majorly. Do you fear... I mean, if you look, okay, so you've got the actual conflict itself. You've got the spillover effects for Jordan, for Egypt, and for, for, for the region. And you've got, if you will, the, 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 uh, the Suez Canal and the, the, the sea. Where do you fear most that things could get out of control? Well, I, I fear most uh, of a longevity of the conflict because it goes on and on the risk of spillovers go up. And uh, right now we see a risk of spillover from the Suez Canal, uh, but if there are other unintended consequences in terms of where the fighting goes, uh, then uh, it can become much more problematic for the world as a whole.